Let's look at how we can express a remainder as a fraction when we're working out calculations for division. So I've got the calculation 16 divided by 5 and I have 16 counters. I'm going to divide them by 5 so if I move, move a couple of counters I can make some groups of 5. So I've got 1, two, three groups of five. So 16 divided by five is three. Now if I was going to write this as a remainder, I would write three remainder one because I've got that one left over. If I want to turn it into a fraction though, I need to think about making another group. And I need to think what fraction of this group is that one remainder. So in that group altogether I need five counters. But I've only got one of them. So I have got one counter out of the five counters that I need to make the group which is one-fifth. One out of five is the same as saying one-fifth. So with remainder one here, I can see that is going to be the numerator of my fraction because I've got one counter left and the denominator is how many I needed in each group. Here it's five. So let's try a few more calculations without using counters this time. 14 divided by 3. So I know my 3 times table, that's going to be 4, because 3 4s are 12, which means I've got a remainder of 2. So I'm going to write my remainder up here. I've got 2 left, but altogether to make a group, I needed 3. So I've got 2 of the three that I needed to make another group, two thirds. So four and two thirds. 19 divided by four. Four times four would be 16. So four lots of four are 16, leaves me with a remainder of three. So I've got three left out of the four that I need to make another group. So my answer is four and three quarters. And 37 divided by 10. 37 divided by 10 is three because three tens are 30. And that means I've got seven left over. And I'm counting in groups of 10. So I've got seven out of the 10 that I need for a group. So my answer is 3 and 7 tenths.